In this video, we're going to go through step by step how to find out your unique heart rate training zones, and then we're going to enter them into the desktop version of Garmin Connect. Let's do it. To get the most from your Garmin, and therefore get the most from your training, it's a really good idea to make sure that you have your custom heart rate zone set specifically to you. If you only ever run at the same intensity every time you go out, you're going to miss out on a whole range of extra physiological benefits which your trainer should be giving you. Things like improving your aerobic base, your lactate threshold, your VO2 max, amongst a lot of other things. A form of training you may have heard of is that's starting to get more and more popular is the 80-20 training principle. Um, there's a book out there by a guy called Matt Fitzgerald. It's this book here. It's a really good book and I highly recommend it. Um, it goes through in detail how to go through your training where 80% is done at, a, at a, is an easy to moderate pace and only 20% is done at a higher pace. Um, obviously you can't do that unless you know what your heart rate training zones are because this book is going to take you through how to use those heart rate training zones. I'll put the link in the description of this video below on how you can get hold of this book but also I've got a link below that shows you how you can read this book for free um, using the Kindle version of it. There is a trial on Amazon, a three month trial which you can get three months for absolutely free and I'll put the link for that in the description for this video down below. And stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you information on how to get hold of some free training tables where you can put in your, your heart rate training zones and that will then translate into what paces, minutes per mile or minutes per kilometre that you should be running depending on what type of training that, you, that you're going to be doing. So with all that said and done, what we now need to do is find out what our heart rate zones actually are. So we're going to go into the computer now and we'll show you what's going on. The website I'm going to recommend that you use to find out your heart rate training zones is Polar. And the link for that is in the description below. And when you click on the link, you'll end up at this page here. Now, if you scroll down this page, the first thing it does is it gives you lots of good information about the various different heart rate zones, what they are, what they're for. But down towards the bottom, you have this little calculator. Now, it's quite simple. All we need to do now is put in what your maximum heart rate is. If you don't know what your maximum heart rate actually is, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, the simplest way is to look back in your training date and see if you've done a race uh, quite recently or a park run, something like that, where you can look back and see what your heart actually got up to um, during the course of that race. If you haven't got that, what you can do is you can go out and find a hill nearby about a 40, 50 meter stretch. And then after a good warm up, firstly, must do the warm up, uh, do about four or five sprints up this hill, jog back down, wait for a little bit and do it again. At the end of the fifth one, see how high your heart rate got up to, and that will be a, a guide, a good guide as to what your maximum heart rate actually is. So once you've got your maximum heart rate, we're gonna stick it in this box here. Now I know that mine is 195 beats per minute. So show me my heart rate zones, click on that. And there it is there, there's all our figures there. The zone one, two, three, four, and five. Now we have that, we need to make a note of them because we're then gonna take them and then put them into the Garmin Connect desktop. If you're enjoying this video, you could really help me out by hitting the like button and also sharing this with any running friends you have that may benefit from this video. I make a lot of videos with the aim of helping you to improve your running, so you may want to consider subscribing, not forgetting to hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. So now we have our data, it's time to put it into Garmin Connect. So here we are on the desktop, here's my main dashboard here. At the top right, you can see the watch symbol where it says devices and sync status. I'm going to click on that and then click on device settings. And that brings us into this page here where we then have a further option of user settings. Click on there and scroll down and we now have this area here which is where we're going to enter our heart rate data. Now remember, don't forget to stick around to the end because I'm going to give you information on how to download that training table. So once you've got your heart rate set, you can apply that to your training plans to find out what pace you should be running. That's at the end of the video, so stick around. Okay, so now we have our data. It's now time to enter it into the table. Now my zone 1 figures were 98 to 117. So I'm going to start that with 98 to 117. Next was 117 to 137, so I'll change that to 137. And then we've got, that's 137 to 156 for the next one, 156 to 176 for the next one, and finally 176 to 195, which was my maximum. So they're all in there now. All I need to do now is hit save settings. And it says change to save. Please sync your device now. I use the Garmin Vivo Active 3, which has got Bluetooth. If you're using Garmin Express, you would use the option at the top here to, to sync. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go onto my mobile phone uh, into the Garmin Connect app there and then hit sync there and that'll drag any information from the internet onto my phone and then in turn it'll put it into my watch. So as promised I'm now going to give you information on how to download your free training tables. It's an Excel spreadsheet which is open source, it comes off uh, free off the internet but I found it a while ago and it's really really useful. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, all you do is click on that, it'll take you to my website where you can then download it for free. So if you got something from this video, don't forget, please hit the like, hit the share button as well to, to share that around any running friends you may have that you feel may benefit from a video such as this. Don't forget, I make lots of videos like this, so please consider subscribing and not forget to hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.